Hey, let's talk metaphors. If you've been around um, soul-based coaching for a while, then you know that metaphors are at the heart of what we do. But why and how come that they are so important and, and you know, how does that even work, right? So let's talk about that. I'm Anamika, I'm the founder of the Academy for Soul-Based Coaching and this is a fantastically juicy topic. So let's dive in. So when we are working with our clients, we will always start to look for the metaphors that come through our clients' words. And not just because, you know, we like uh, language or we like the idea of, of like frilly metaphors, but because metaphors are at the very heart of how we make sense of our world as human beings. So in a nutshell, anything that we experience, we compare to things that we've experienced before. And this process starts like way in the womb as soon as we start to have consciousness. And that process means that we come up with ideas about what life is like or what relationships are like or what, you know, anything is like. And those metaphors when they slip through our language they actually point us to you could say like it's our primary operating system it's like the program we run at the very deepest level and the beauty of that is that when we start to work with these metaphors and they start to shift that we are also like rewiring our clients at that very deepest level or actually they're doing that themselves but we're helping them do that and so to give you an example, if I talk to you about how I feel like a fish in water, for example, when I'm doing my work, that fish in water is like small, like a short script for like lots of feelings and emotions and experiences that I have when I'm doing my work that tell you that I'm in my element, that um, tell me a lot when you help me explore that metaphor, it helps me get into the groove, into the zone of being in that way with my work. And so the interesting thing is that uh, one of our students is just starting um, the uh, Soul Based Coach certification program is saying, yeah, when we start to explore these metaphors in the way that we do in Soul Based Coaching, I get this warm and fuzzy feeling and it's beautiful and, and there's so much surprise. And this is like, you know, what we're starting with is just exploring a quality that you're already having. And there's like so much surprise and there's like worlds opening up and it's amazing. But, you know, how does that ever lead to real world change? Because that's what we want in coaching. And that is such a valid question and it's such a gorgeous way into this conversation. So when you're starting to, for example, explore joy and the client feels like this is like a sun bursting in their, in their hearts, for example, and then starting to radiate out. The first thing that you'll notice is that the client is starting to feel that joy in the moment because the only way they can talk about it is by connecting with that experience. And this is a, a mechanism that we use a lot in our coaching. We start by the desired outcomes and bringing that into metaphor so that the client can fully experience what they want in the moment, so in our coaching session. Whether that is about the kind of relationship they want to be in or the kind of job that they want or the way that they want to be building their coaching practice, the way that they want to be earning their money, the way that they want their health to be, uh, the way that they want their relationship with the divine to be, it doesn't matter what that is. We're always going to help them have that experience in the moment through their embodied metaphors. And when we're doing that, and you might know this, our logical, like our, our minds are they're not equipped to discern the difference between what is actually true, like physically real right now, or what we're ha what's happening in our imagination. So neurologically, we have the exact same response, whether we are at, lying at the beach right now and, and you know enjoying 30 degrees um, and this cool breeze, or whether we're just really thinking about it and, and imagining to be in that place and actually feeling that in our bodies. So for our neurological mind, that is exactly the same experience. So you can imagine that when we help people be in that embodied experience of how they would like things to be, 
that their, you know, their, their mind is actually creating the neurological pathways that go with having that as a reality. And that means that that experience is much easier to tap into any, you know, any time in the future. We also help them to look at any fears, limiting beliefs, anything that might be blocking them through metaphor. And we help them reintegrate and change what needs to change on a metaphoric level. Now, the interesting thing is that you might think, well, what difference does that make when we're just having clients play with their metaphors? Well, the interesting thing is that we're actually rewiring that like very basic patterning that they have, that programming that they have. And when we do that, they will start to feel differently in the moment, but that will continue if the blocks are gone. They start to think differently. They start to perceive different things around them. They start to act differently because of that. And it's the most logical thing for them to do. They can't really do anything else. And then, of course, they start to have different kinds of results. But also what's happening is that on an energetic level, there is like this, um, it's like a new energetic blueprint is being made. And because of that, they are having a very different frequency. And because of that, they are inviting life to meet them in their new reality. And this means that different you know, options and, and, and opportunities are coming their way. There's going to be synchronicities that you can't make up, but that will happen for sure for your clients. And one of the beautifully very content packed examples of this is that when we had just, a, I think it was a 10 or maybe 15 minute exercise in one of our coaching uh, training sessions, we had uh, one of the people there be the client and they wanted to find a new um, Thai, massage, Thai massage therapist, I think it was. And they Googled and looked and like asked around, but they just had been coming up with empty. Um, and so she brought that in the session and we started to bring that into metaphor. So when you find that Thai massage therapist, that's like what? And she was starting to kind of explore what that was like for her. And the metaphor that unfolded was something about uh, threads. And I think there was a red thread from her heart. Or actually it started with the therapist and it came through her heart. And there was this web of things that were connected. And I can't quite remember how, how it was for her. And this is the key thing. We don't have to know. And we don't have to... It doesn't have to make any sense to us as coaches. But what also happened as she started to embody that and feel that metaphor, that she started to feel her body physically aligned. So at some point she said, well, it's like I'm having that massage right now. Um, that was really, that was a, a very visible thing that was happening for her. Now, after we'd done the exercise and we just concluded it, um, just had that much time for it. I think a day or two later, already we got a message from her in our group saying hey you won't believe what just happened i've done another google search and this time someone's come up who is like five minute bike ride away from me who's got great reviews who's been there forever but i have no idea why that hasn't ever shown up before when i was looking she went and she had a great experience so Weird things happen, but they always happen. And this is why it's so incredibly powerful and beautiful to work with metaphors, to be in that dimension. Because as a coach, you can't make this shit up and results happen every time. So why do, you know, why not do this instead of working hard and making this action plan and then holding your client accountable? You know, instead, go right to the source. Make the change happen exactly where it can happen. All right? If you want to know more, you know where to find us. AcademyForSoulBasedCoaching.com. See you soon.